friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Rosa and on this channel we make plant-based food for you and your family to enjoy. So today we're going to continue our sweet potato craze. Yes, we've been making sweet potato everything and I've been trying to come up with different ideas to make something sweet potato that tastes delicious and kind of easy to make. So today we're going to make a sweet potato coffee cake. All right, so let me show you what I put together to make that happen. <laughs> Okay, so first be sure to lightly oil a square pan. This is like a brownie size pan and then line it with some parchment paper so to prevent it from sticking and it's always easy cleanup. So I like to line my pans. So for this recipe, we're going to have roasted sweet potato. I like to roast a sweet potato because it makes it a more richer, sweeter potato and opposed to boiling the sweet potato because it adds more water or liquid content to it. So definitely roast the sweet potato and you'll need about a cup of sweet potato for this recipe. All right, first thing you want to do is make two flax eggs. So for my flax eggs, I use one fourth cup of ground flax meal and six tablespoons of water. And just give that a stir and set it aside. All right, so let's start with the wet ingredients first. So we're going to add one cup of that roasted sweet potato to the bowl and I like to get it mashed up so that way it evenly distributes inside the recipe. Next we're going to add a third cup of coconut oil. So for me, I don't have to actually melt my coconut oil because of the humidity out here in Mexico. It actually melts it for me. So next we're gonna add a half a cup of plant-based milk and I use unsweetened almond milk. And then we're gonna add that flax aid we made. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients in a separate bowl. So first to the bowl, we'll add a half a cup of granulated sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and a fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. Let's give that a stir. And then next, we're gonna combine the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So you're gonna have a thick batter, okay guys? So what we're gonna do is get the pan, put the batter into the pan, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the crunchy topping, all right? Be sure to preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Hey guys, I wanted to get on and share some exciting news with you. So most of you guys know I've been working on a new plant-based cookbook and it's almost done. Vic's cookbook contains 40 delicious recipes, which includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and desserts. It's perfect for those who are new to plant-based cooking, or if you're living a busy lifestyle, or even if you just want something quick and easy to prepare, but tastes delicious, this cookbook is definitely for you. I put a link in the description so you can pre-order your cookbook today. All right, so now back to the video. Okay, so now we're gonna make our kind of strudel type topping for the coffee cake. So you can use pecans, you can use slivered almonds. Today I have slivered almonds. You can use any type of nut that you like, even walnuts work with this recipe, okay? But it's super easy, quick topping. Put it on top before we get it in the oven, okay? So let me show you real fast what I'm using. So to the bowl, we're adding one fourth cup of packed light brown sugar, a fourth cup of granulated sugar, a fourth cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth cup of rolled oats or gluten-free oats, a fourth cup of slivered almonds or pecans works well with this, 
one teaspoon plus one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And just give that a stir. To the bowl, we're gonna add a fourth cup of vegan butter cut up and it needs to be cold so that we can kind of like um, crumble the butter into the, you know what, no. You know what we're gonna do? So for the crumble topping, it is easier to process it in a food processor, but just in case, you know, you can use a fork or a fork and a knife together and kind of like crumble to that crumble texture, but it's just so much easier to use a food processor, guys, all right? That's the texture I'm looking for. All right, so we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. I say for about 30 to 35 minutes, then we'll check on it. And if a toothpick comes out clean, then we know we're good to go. If not, we'll put it in for like five more minutes, okay? All right, guys, so the sweet potato coffee cake is all done. So I'm about to take a slice. Probably about right here. Okay, that went through nicely. Let's see what you look like, babies. Ooh, looking good. Oh man, that looks so good. Okay, I can't wait to take a bite. All right, guys, so we thought we were hitting the record button earlier, but you know, film and all. <laughs> so we're gonna, we already tasted a piece out of the um, sweet potato uh, coffee cake and it was really good, but let, let us recreate that moment again and give us the opportunity to eat it again anyway. So it's not a bad thing. <laughs> all right, love. Give it a taste. <laughs> mm, look at that. So first off, when you when you uh, cut into it, it's mm -hmm. nice and moist, and it's not super dense, but it's like uh, a cross between the cakey and the pie, huh? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Still the same deliciousness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us what you think. I like that God. the inside is not super sweet because. The topping is nice and crunchy and sweet mm -hmm. anyway, but the inside is more like a, um, a cross between a pie and a cake. So it's almost like a, um, like a banana cake, banana, yeah, banana cake. Like a, not a banana breadish kind banana of. Banana breadish yeah. texture. Yeah, it is. But the oh. flavor is way better than banana. Oh, I love nice. it. This is way better than banana. Yeah. And the topping is so crispy and crumbly and, and it's oh, so good. It tastes, um, cause I use that brown sugar, so it really accented it with the, with the um, sweet potato. You know, so it's really tasty, guys. Yeah. Yeah, definitely make this one. It's so good, it's so good. Only thing missing is like some whipped cream right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Or your, or your coffee, cause you're gonna have yeah, coffee. Yeah, you gotta have coffee. You know? Yeah, it's really but delicious. <laughs> might have to wait for on the third one, though. Well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, guys, it is really delicious. It came out amazing. Mm -hmm. This is one, a sweet potato recipe I know you guys are really gonna enjoy and love, and even your family's gonna enjoy. And don't forget, you can make this gluten feed gluten-free as well, okay? So just make the adjustments and I'll put the recipe on the website as well, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right then, so with that being said, I'm Rosa and this is my hubby, Jimmy. Forgive me for not introducing him for some of you guys who are new or don't know. This is Jimmy and I will see you guys on the next video. And wait, don't forget to subscribe, okay guys? <laughs> if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna see more sweet potato videos, subscribe. And if you just like to come by and stop by and say hi to the community, you're welcome here. So cool. we love you guys and we'll see you now on the next video. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. That's good. This is a winner. They actually got my own plate. <laughs> Mm. Like Captain America said, I can do this all day. I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs>